I got Chloe when she was a puppy. She's uh, three years old, so I've had her for three years now. The process that I had to go through to get my dog on campus was contact the Disability Resource Center, and I spoke to a woman um, named Kathleen Johnson. She gave me forms to fill out to get her onto campus, and then I also had to contact my doctor and get a note describing why I needed her on campus, which was related to depression and anxiety reasons. There are specific rules in order to have a dog on campus. They have to be a certain size, length, and weight. They can't be noisy, like they can't bark. They have to be um, trained. It's kind of difficult to take care of a dog and also be a full-time student because um, when you have classes back to back, it's hard to get here and take her out. So when I'm having a busy day, usually my roommate steps in and either takes her out for me or has to fill up her bowls again. And then if we're both busy for some reason, then we get our friends to come in and take care of her. But when other students see Chloe on campus, they usually get excited and they ask to pet her and she doesn't give them a hard time because she's a really friendly dog and I don't give them a hard time either because um, she likes the attention. My favorite part about having my dog on campus is that I get to have attention from her and if I'm stressed out, she calms me down and it's just nice seeing her every day.